So I tell this tale every night because it's a fine tale. Um, trying to watch my language. Shaver down here in the front. Um, so, uh, at 14 years old, uh, I went to the Cal Palace in San Francisco, drank three warm home brows, threw up in the parking lot, um, and w went in and saw the greatest show I'd ever seen up to that point, because it was actually the first show I'd ever seen. And it was three guys from Toronto named uh, Getty, Alex, and Mel. And it was on the Hemispheres tour. Did anybody see the Hemispheres tour? Anybody here? Yeah. You saw the Hemispheres tour? Um, it was a magnificent thing, changed my life. Um, so, it, of course, uh, it was an amazing thing once we did get to tour with the fellas and become friends with the fellas. And uh, now we're playing some of their music, and it's it's a, it's, it's been a wonderful, amazing thing. And I do know, as a rush rush head all those years, that. Uh, uh, true Rush fans are some of the most scrutinizing bastards I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> Me being one of them. So, uh, hopefully we're pulling this off for y'all. Um, but... Uh, this next tune... This next tune needs some help. Because, at A, when I was that same guy going to all those shows, this song was a big audience participation in song. We've kind of turned it into something interesting because, you know, it, it, Neil, he's left the planet. He was an amazing, amazing drummer percussionist, but... His words, his words, his lyrics are, are spectacular as well. And as a kid, I just thought, oh, it's Dungeons and Dragons, and I, you know, I related to it on that level. But there's all these... I'm getting into it now and getting into this record, there's all these really incredible metaphors and, and parallels and, and, and relevant uh, things that are within the lyrics. And, like this next one, and the men who hold high places must be the ones who start to mold a new reality closer to the heart. So what does that tell you? Forty years ago, Neil Peart wrote this, and it's, it's, it's incredibly relevant today. It's basically, you know, people of power can get things done without shitting all over each other. That's really what it's saying. And he said it 40 years ago, and we're going to say it again tonight. Um, and hopefully you'll help me. And uh, I don't know how about, about you folks, but, uh, uh, you know, Neil's left the planet. Uh, I lost a good friend during the whole COVID thing to COVID. And what we've been having people do is, because back in the day with this song, people would light their lighters and do their thing. It was an amazing thing. But now, you know, not so many lighters, but there was a lot of cell phones. So what we've been having people do is... If you have somebody who's special to you, whether they're on the planet or off the planet, pull up a picture of them and hold it up for this next song. And also sing along with me if you can. Closer to the heart Closer to the heart 